we back, y'all. And what we got today, we have MLB free agency talks. On Monday, we did uh, NFL free agency. And then yesterday, I had work, so I couldn't put out anything. But today, we are doing MLB free agency talks. Pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to scroll through. We're going to scroll through MLB's Twitter. And um, they have these posts right here, like the on the move posts. So uh, we're just going to like talk about all of these. And then they have like a little description with it. So obviously, the first one, first of all, actually, MLB free agency has been absolutely crazy. Players have been moving left, right, and center. AL East is stacked now. Um, we got uh, the Dodgers looking like absolute contenders like always. We got the Padres making move with Tatis going out for three months. Absolutely crazy stuff has been going on. Some teams have been declining. Some teams have been going for the rebuild process. We're here for it all. We're going to start with Trevor Story going to the Red Sox. This makes the AL East even better. We got Devers and Trevor Story on the left side of that infield for 162 games. Well, no, like 150. I don't know how many games they're canceling, but I know it's like the first two weeks or something. Um, yeah, 150 something games. You got Devers and Trevor Story on the left side. And don't even forget about Xander Bogarts. Uh, maybe Story will run second. I don't know. But that infield is looking mighty scary with Bobby Dalback coming into his form. Devers, Story, uh, Xander Bogarts. And then you got. Um, J.D. Martinez in the outfield. You got Christian Vasquez. Oh, my God. The Red Sox are nice, dude. The Red Sox are nice. Too bad they have the Jays, um, Rays, and Yankees in their division. But they're looking pretty nice. All right. Next. Hold up. Daddy right here. All right. Next, we got Jorge Soler going to Miami. Wasn't he already on Miami? I think he was before. Uh, how do you spell Jorge? Jorge Soler, Miami. <clears throat> I feel like he was on Miami, and then he went to Atlanta. Am I wrong? I don't know if I'm right about that. I don't know if I'm right about that. I don't know, but I think that's what... I don't know. But Jorge Soler, three-year deal to Miami. Absolute power bat. Insane, insane uh, player. They're still a very young team. A very exciting team, though. Don't count them out of anything. Um, Jazz Chisholm's one of my favorite players in the league. Love that guy. You got Sixto Sanchez. You got Sandy Alcantara. Um, they have a decent, decent um, pitching rotation, decent lineup. But I think they're still a bit too young to make a splash. They have a pretty loaded division with the Phillies, the Nats. Uh, well, the Nats aren't too good. The Phillies, um, the Mets, and the Braves. So, yeah. All right. Next, we are going to hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Boom. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Carlos Correa. Okay, this is an interesting one. I, I think zero people expected him to go to the Twins. I really, like, this really came out of left field. Like, I really, really did not see this happening anywhere. Three-year deal has an opt-out option after every year. So after year one, two, and obviously three. But year one and two, he has that opt-out deal. Um, so if he wants to, he can get out of there whenever he wants after every season. Um, they paid him a bag though. They paid him a bag. It's like 35 mil a year. Probably one of the top free agents. I'm um, top probably one of the top shortstops in the league. Uh so you know what? Well deserved. Twins are making some moves. They're definitely shaping up the roster. They're definitely flipping around some people. I like what they're doing over there. I like what they have brewing. I think they can make a move in the AL Central, but you still have the White Sox there. So I don't really know. Alright, next we have a big, big, big Big upgrade for the Phillies. Bryce Harper and Nick Castellanos are in the same lineup. Left and right field. Power on power on power. You got Reese Hoskins in there. You got Didi Gregorius in there. Absolutely crazy. I love this move for Nick Castellanos. They had to get the salary to work because they were way over the tax. But they got it to work. They made a couple trades. They dropped a couple people. They made it work. They got their man. They got Nick Castellanos. That is absolutely mind-blowing, man. I love this move. I think this is going to work out very, very well for the Phillies. I think that he's going to be a really fun player to watch for the Phillies. And I think that the Phillies will make a decent move in the NL East. We got Kenley Jansen. One year, $16 million, Going to the chop house. Him, Freeman, swapping teams. I don't know. I don't know. I think this was kind of a smite move. I'm not even going to lie. I think because Freeman ditched them. 
that um, I think if Freeman ditched them, they try to get one of their own. They got Kenley Jansen back, a great closer for their pen. They had Will Smith in there, but now they really have someone that could lock it down because they got a pretty good starting rotation. You got Ian Anderson, Charlie Morton, Max Freed. You got a good starting rotation. You really needed that anchor in the bullpen. Kenley Jansen is that guy. Uh, obviously a World Series winner. Been in with the Dodgers since like 05, I think, or like, oh, like, I don't know. He's been with them for a long, 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 long time. So, um, Kenley Jansen, definitely a really good player. I like this move for the A's, um, the, <clears throat> the Braves, not the A's. I like this move for the Braves, but I think it was a smite move just to get back at the Dodgers a little. All right, next. <laughs> Stupid. Um, keep scrolling. Uh, all right. Let's talk about Luke Voigt being traded for a one single prospect. I don't understand this move at all. The Yankees, I don't really know what they're doing. Justin Lange, uh, I, he's a single A or double A pitcher. I don't know. You trade one of the best power bats in the league, uh, a nasty first baseman, for literally nothing. And then the Padres now have a nasty first baseman, and they literally didn't have to give up anything. They got Machado, Tatis, and Luke Voigt all in the same infield, and Cronenworth all in the same infield now. When Tatis is healthy, you got um, still a decent outfield with Will Myers and a couple other guys I'm forgetting right now. Good starting rotation, Paddock, Lamette, Snell, uh, uh, Musgrove, and another guy. And then uh, bullpen is whatever. It's always been like that. But you know what? I love this move for the Padres. Go get your guy. I really, really like it. I think that's a really, really good play by the Padres. The fact that they literally had to give up nothing, I think it's phen uh, phenomenal. All right, next, let's see. Bobby Witt's going to be a demon, man. Bobby Witt's going to be an amazing. Um, there we go. Freddie Freeman, the big one, six-year deal, getting paid, also a bag. Um, I forget the exact money breakdown on it, but Freeman to the Dodgers. It is scary, man. It is scary out here. Um, honestly, I don't know what to think about Freeman to the Dodgers. We saw if we scroll a bit up. Uh, let's look really quickly. Where was it? The projected lineup. Mookie, Trey Turner, Freddie Freeman, Will Smith, Max Muncy, Justin Turner, Cody Bellinger, Chris, pa uh, Chris Taylor, and AJ Pollock. See, the thing is here, why isn't, um, why isn't, see, if they have Corey Seager, that'd be like amazing, but they had to let him go. I'm really, I think there's someone in my mind that right now, yeah, okay. For me personally, move Max Muncy to DH and put Gavin Lux in there over uh, AJ Pollock. I think though you got righty, righty, lefty, uh, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, righty, and then Gavin Lux is a lefty. So I think that would work out even better for you. But <clears throat> this team is literally one, two, three, four, five, uh, four, five, five minimum. Um, all-star game players on a nine-man lineup. There's five potential all-star game players, probably even six. I I don't get salary cap sometimes for this um for the for baseball in general. But you know what, Freeman Dodgers, welcome. All right, we're gonna move down a bit. Jock Peterson to the Giants, not a big move. Chris Bryant to the Rockies, seven years, hundred sixty-two million is what I remember. Interesting because I don't know. Seven years playing in Coors. Everyone hated playing in Coors. Arenado left. Story left. They all get hate for playing in Coors because if they hit well, they play. It's because of the Coors effect. If they hit awful on the, oh, if they hit awful when they're away, everyone knows. Everyone chalks it up to the Coors effect. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know if I like this move for Chris Brown. I feel like it's going to ruin his reputation a little. I feel like he's going to want out three, four years into his deal. I feel like he's not going to stay the full seven. I don't know. Get your bag. Uh, good for you, Chris Bryant, but I think it's going to eventually come back to bite him in the ass. Granky going back to where it all started. One year deal going back to the Royals. I love that. Eddie Rosario, the postseason hero, is back with the um, Braves. And then you got Seiya Suzuki, the man from Japan. Five years, like 85 million. He really, really got his bag. Um, honestly, really impressive. Uh, going to the Cubs. I like it. Um, you got Kyle Schwarber going to the Phillies, another power bat, man. This lineup, I forgot about this when I was talking about Castellanos. This lineup is filled one through nine of power, man. Pure, pure power, and I love it. 
Matt Chapman to the Blue Jays. We'll talk about this for a bit because I am a Blue Jays fan. I am a Toronto native. All right, real quick, Matt Chapman, from what we've seen in preseason, his bat is there. What we all know about Matt Chapman, a platinum glove defender, everyone knows that he can bring it on the defensive side, but not so much on the hitting. He hits like 250, 260, 270, pretty bad on base percentage, power, go home, but from what we've seen from preseason so far, and it, take, it, take it with a grain of salt, it is preseason, he's been looking pretty dangerous, I'm not going to lie, he has been looking pretty dangerous. We just gave him a two-year extension for $25 million, uh, literally yesterday, so now he's locked up until the 2023 season, because it was this season and then next season, so we gave him that little extension, uh, we're going to have to play Bo, Vlad uh, pretty soon, so... Matt Chapman, lock him up for another couple of years. I love it. Making a push. You know what? I'm happy until he starts being crap. Anthony Rizzo coming back to the Yankees. Nothing overly surprising, honestly. Um, Matt Olson. Okay, so it says extension here. We know that he's there for the 2029 season. That's crazy. He got a bag. The Matt Olson trade was pretty, pretty one-sided. I'm not going to lie. Um... The uh, Athletics got a bag for him. They got Kristen Pache. He's going to be a really, really good uh, point guard. They got Kristen Pache. He's going to be a really, um, really good, good center fielder. Also, on top of Pache, they got three more prospects. So, I don't know. It was a really good haul that they got back for him. Uh, McCutcheon to the Brewers. Nothing special. You got Jesse Winker and Eugenio Suarez going to the Seattle Mariners. I think it's a really, really good trade for them. Um, Matt Olson, yeah, we already talked about that. We got Nelson Cruz going to the Nats, nothing crazy. Donaldson to the Yankees with um, Gio Rochella and uh, Gary Sanchez going to the Twins. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. Sonny Gray going to the Twins. Chris Bastick going to the Mets. You say Kikuche going to the Blue Jays. I love that trade. Dodgers resigning Kershaw. Carlos Rodon to the Giants, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to wrap up the video at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop this video a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below what free agency movie you think was the best and which one was the worst. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.